Hello guys, today we're going to be discussing where the Bitcoin bottom is in and I'm going to be showing you some very interesting indicators and also I'm going to be talking about where the potential top for Bitcoin could be in the next bull run. So if you like the content, please leave a like, subscribe. I just started my YouTube channel so if you haven't subscribed, uh, please subscribe and put on the notification button and let's get started. So bitcoin bitcoin has been in a massive downtrend since the beginning of this year and and bitcoin has broken it's very 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 crucial support at 18.5k due to the ftx contagion and then it's since it's been in a downtrend however right now it's been it's bouncing a little bit so bitcoin recently made a lower low over here and right now it's currently currently bouncing however i do not believe that this is this will be a constant bounce even if, even though even if we go up go go up i think that we'll be rejecting the 18.5k level the 18.5k level is such a significant support zone as you can see over here it's been the 2018 all-time high level you're able to see that it's been you know consolidating at this level since before before this before this and then you're able to see that in June it made a low at 17.5k, and since it's been ma making some consolidations for four months, and then it finally broke its floor. So once it's once once it has broken its floor, it's very 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 unlikely for Bitcoin to recover this, to regain this, to regain the significant support zone. Given the mac given the macro, given the technicals, it's very very hard. So. Right now, I do believe that there is a larger possibility, probability that Bitcoin will be looking for a bottom. And you may be wondering whether the Bitcoin bottom is in already in or not. And I'm going to be showing you some, some, some interesting indicators which suggest that the Bitcoin bottom is close, but not in yet. So let us go to the first indicator, the MVRB Z score. So the MVRB Z score is a function of this. Let's, <coughs> let's you know. Let's go into the charts. You're able to see that this <coughs> this indicator has been indicating and marking historical bottoms. You're able to see that in 2012, it, it marked the historical bottom. And also in 2015, you're able to see that the MBRB Z score, once this orange line went below this green, green box, you're able to see that Bitcoin has been, ba have been making a bottom. And you're able to see that in 2018, the same thing happened here. And the question is, we're already in the green box. We're already in the green band. However, are we going to be, are we going to be going below the green box? So you're able to see that we are at the lower region of the box. So I do, I did contend that 16K is already a very, very good uh, buy opportunity in the long term. However, I do not believe that the bottom is in. Given, given this indicator as well. But you're able to see that we are very, very, very close to the bottom. So I wouldn't mind if I, if I, if I had some cash and if I haven't like invested in Bitcoin, I, I would definitely buy at this, at these, at these areas. Like, so I've already personally bought some Bitcoin at, six, at the 16K level. So I do believe that this is a very, very a good buy opportunity in the long term. Some indicators are suggesting that we are very, very close to the bottom. And also, let, let me go into the, a more, to a more, how do you say this? To a more convincing, convincing bottoming indicator. So this indicator is basically a supply and pro, supply and profit or loss indicator. So you're you're able to see that once these lines converge, after they converge, the Bitcoin bottom was in. You see, first in conversion, and then a while you're able to see that the Bitcoin bottom got was in. The same thing happened in 2015 and also in 2018. Once the lines converge, once the once the majority were in loss, once the majority of the of the Bitcoin hoarders were in loss, we were able to see that Bitcoin bottomed. Also in the COVID clash, we we converged and then we saw a bottom. And you're able to see the same thing. We already converged over here. And the question is, are we going to be making a bottom soon or not? And let me go over to this chart. Let me go to the 30 day moving average chart and you're able to see that once the 30 day moving average convert crossed 
subsequently, we were able to see a Bitcoin bottom, bottom forming over here. Same thing happened in 2015, 20, same thing happened in 2018. And then we have not yet converged yet, but you're able to see that these lines are getting closer to each other. So I do believe that the bottom is very, very close, but these indica this indicator and this indicator at least doesn't suggest the bottom is in quite in yet. However, since we're very, very close to the bottom, but however, this indicator is suggesting that we are very, very close to the bottom. So I do believe that in the long term, these levels are a golden opportunity. So why, right now, think about it. All, all the crypto Twitter, all the influencers, everybody is thinking that Bitcoin is going to tank from here. However, the herd, have you heard, have you heard of this, this thing? Don't follow the herd. The dumb money are is the herd, basically the herd. So basically, the dumb money. There's a contrary. In, the dumb money is basically a contrary indicator. Whenever have you ever have you ever like have you ever done leverage trading? So when you entered a leverage trade, for example, on a five minute chart, when you entered, have you experienced all the trades you've made were in a loss subsequently? The reason why is because you were entering based on your feelings, based on your emotions. That's the reason why you, you, you've got in a loss. So typically, you know, basically, typically, typically for beginners, beginners enter a trade. Once they see that we've already gone up, which is already basically, which is most likely late. So a couple hours or a couple of days later, we will basically be in a downtrend. So what I want to say is here is that the herd, the dumb money is seeing that we are in a downtrend. So. The, down, the dumb money is saying that we're going lower and lower. Obviously, I mean, I do believe that we we are not, we haven't hit a bottom yet. However, I was a little bit concerned of, of, of that fact because everybody was thinking that we were going lower and lower. So that's the reason why I bought some Bitcoin over here. I just scooped some Bitcoin in the long term. So I'm just DCing for the long term and for the next bull run. So... I do believe that 16k is as as I said I do contend that the 16k area is a golden opportunity. So, it's impossible for you to to, to catch the bottom. Even pro traders, even hedge funds aren't able to catch the bottom. So, don't be greedy guys. Don't be greedy. You're not able to get the exact bottom. Nobody's able to get, to get the exact bottom. Only only a couple people are are able to get the exact topping and the exact bottom. It's impossible. Just think about it. Just think about it in probability wise. So, what I can say is that if I, if I were you, if I, if, I, if I were you and I'm trying to invest in Bitcoin, starting to invest in Bitcoin, I would start buying over here, not in portions, you know, not ON. Don't go ON, guys. Buy in portions and, you know, dollar cost average. Make average your average your entry price, prices as low as low as possible. So 12K and 14K, these are the most significant support zones. So if I if I were to see these if I ever see Bitcoin going to these levels, I'm going to buy heavy. So, however, as I said, 16K is still a go golden opportunity. So these 12K, 14K levels will be a golden opportunity as well. I'm also marking the 10K just in case. I, I think this is a very low possibility, but it's always a pop possibility. So I'm just uh, keeping this in my in my mind. So whenever if Bitcoin if if Bitcoin were to go to 10K, I'll be ready. I won't be surprised. So this this is how you. This is how you get prepared for in terms of mentality. You need to think of all possibilities. You need to be able to think of all possibilities and you need to and you need to be able to. You need to be able to cope with them, guys. So, let's go over to the next topic. So, you may be asking the, the million dollar question, where the Bitcoin top is in. So, you're able to see this chart, right? Sorry, there's some Japanese, but you're able to see this chart. And I, I drew this chart when we were, when we were in 2019 in also in the 2020. I drew this chart and <laughs> coincidentally, mysterically, you know, coincidentally, I was able to, you know, chart the exact top. However, I didn't take any profits because I thought the top would be in the 100K or the 140K zone. So the greed, you know, it's all about, you know, your emotions. The most thing that interrupts you from trading is your emotions the greed too much greed guys this is the most difficult part so since we have since humans human beings we all have greed but this greed 
interrupts from you to perform well. So it's impossible, as I said, as, as I said, I just, as I, as I said in the beginning, it's impossible for you to catch for catch catch the top or to catch the bottom. However, once we see these these kind of candlesticks and if we go lower, like you're not able to. It's very hard for you to take profits, even if you if. Even if you tr like enter that 10k, the greed, you know, the greed, the greed really interrupts you. So it's super hard for you. So I'll, I'll be making a video about the mentality and all the psychology the, uh, on the psychology aspect. But remember, guys, greed, greed is your enemy. The most enemy is your greed. So let, let's go over to this analysis. So I do believe that the next top will be. The next all-time high will be at 100k, at least 100k. I, I would need to see the indicators flashing. If I, I, I would like to see the RSI at least being oversold. So if we, if I see the RSI being sold at these levels, I'll be selling 50%. Doesn't matter if I go, if it goes up or like more than that. The greed, like I've learned from the last guy, I wasn't able to take profits. So the greed, the greed really interrupts you guys. Just remember that. So 100k to 140k. I do believe that these two targets. Will be the main targets for the next bull run so keep that in mind basically how i charted these zones is by you know using fibonacci retracements from these you know crucial crucial areas guys crucial levels i've, I've used crucial levels to to chart these levels so 100k 140k is the next target zone guys so if you like the content please leave a like subscribe i just started my youtube channel so subscribe and if you want to buy bitcoin use okx if you use OKX from this link. If you sign up from this link, you'll get a 5% commission rebate forever. So use OKX, big K, you get a 4K deposit, buy B, you get a maximum 30K deposit. So don't forget to sign up from these links and see you in the next video. Thank you so much, guys. See ya. Bye bye.